Um, Fiona, tell, tell me a little bit how, where you trained and how long you've been a dentist. I trained at Queen's University in Belfast and qualified in 1991. Um, I joined the practice here in Bangor in 1993, so I've been here for 23 years next month. Wow. And what got you interested in facial aesthetics? Um, I think it was just a natural progression from dentistry. Um, I enjoyed doing the cosmetic work, improving people's smiles, making them feel better about themselves, and I had the opportunity to attend facial aesthetics course. Um, as a dentist, we are very confident at injecting people. We do it on a daily basis. We also have a very good knowledge of the anatomy of the face, um, so it just seemed a natural progression then. Um, it's very rewarding to, as I say, improve people's self-confidence um, and how they feel and to help them look better. And when people have come to you for the first time, they would tend to come, obviously, uh, on a repeat basis, don't they? Yes, um, whenever they first come in and get treated and see the benefits of the treatment, then they usually come back after about six months um, to have the treatment refreshed. Okay. I'm bound to ask, does it hurt? It doesn't hurt at all. Um, some patients out there have a low pain threshold, and if they feel a little bit anxious about the injection or the procedure, we can use numbing cream, which um, just basically numbs the skin up so that they don't feel anything. It um, takes about 20 minutes to work, and it wears off after an hour or so. Okay. Would you, you, you tend to think in terms of, of, of Botox and also dermal fillers. Um, can you describe the difference between the two? Uh, Botox is a purified protein of toxin that relaxes muscles, so it's used to treat lines that are created by muscular movement. Uh, dermal fillers are based on a gel-like substance called hyaluronic acid, which is naturally occurring in the dermis. And as we age, that um, breaks down and we lose volume and therefore we have wrinkles and creases appearing. Dermal fillers are used to plump out those areas where we've lost some tissue volume. Okay. And just describe, I know it's a, a Botox treatment is determined in, by area, so that it's often quoted as one, two or three areas. What's an area? Um, an area would be, for instance, forehead lines. Um, whenever people raise their eyebrows and they see the horizontal lines, that can be treated with Botox. Again, frowns, when we squeeze our eyes together or we look angry, we can treat that with Botox to help relax the area and also the crow's feet around the eyes. Um, that can be treated as well with the Botox. And, and can, can anyone be treated or how do you, how do you, how do you decide? Um, well, all patients will fill in a medical questionnaire first of all. Um, obviously if patients have an allergy to some of the products we wouldn't want to be um, treating them. But most patients um, are able to have the treatment carried out. And male and female? Male and female. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you, is there a trend? Do you see more males? Is that happening more? No, um, I would see opposite ends of the spectrum. I've got some quite young patients, and when I say young, they'd be in their late 20s, um, that would come in for some facial treatments, and I have patients in their 70s that come in, um, and they wish they'd done it years ago, um, which is, is interesting. And presumably for people who, um, who you perhaps treated for a long time as a dentist, and then they're obviously very comfortable with you and they yes, would feel, feel yeah, very happy yeah, about it. they can coming. combine it with their dental appointment as well. So. Fiona, thank you very much for telling us about facial aesthetics. Not at all. You're very welcome.